Now on the tee, playing out of Manchester in the United Kingdom, Peter Finch. What a nice shirt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You know what, what a lovely thing to be greeted to in the morning. A compliment on what I'm wearing and a camera all up in my face. Are we ready to go make some history? Yep. <laughs> See that most handsome man in Carolina over there? That's who I'm playing with today. Like, how am I going to be able to concentrate on my golf when he's in my group? It's going to be impossible. How are we doing? Morning. Good, morning. Good to see everybody. Morning. How are you doing? Right? Morning. Morning. Morning, sir. Morning. How are you? Oh, man. It's early. First poor call this morning is we've got to get to the golf course and do like some kind of um, press thing where we just sat down, interviews, something for the video. I don't really know. I mean, this time in the morning, I'm exceptionally pliable. Like, whatever people want to do to me this morning, it's fine. I'm going to nod my head. Be like, oh, yes, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will do that, sir. Yes. Morning. How are we doing? Uh, yeah, here for the tournament today. Sure, what's your first and last name, please? Uh, Peter Finch. So how are you feeling today, buddy? Feeling great. I'm looking forward to it. I think Peter's going to do a great job out there. Of course, he's going to be in great shape. Uh, been around here for, let's see, almost eight years now. So I've played the course plenty of times. We're going to get around just fine today. What do you think? So we're going to do a little prediction. Um, I think, so shot in the practice round yesterday, 75. Yeah. I'm going to go for a 72 level par. That's going to be, he's on the putting green right now. That's going to be a big thing today. If he drives it well, which he can, I think, I think Kieran's right. I think a 72 could be good, but five is going to be, five, six hundred is probably what's going to win it. So I'm going to say, I think I'm, I'm going to be optimistic and say a couple under. I want, I want to see, I want to see him under. Hopefully. Good luck, Pete. Cheers, boys. Good luck, mate. Really. Good luck, bud. Let's go get him. Come on, man. Managing to draw this dot on without shaking, so that's a pretty big positive, I think. Let's go have some fun. 18 holes between us in a PJ Tour event, or probably someone else. <laughs> we'll see. Why are we going? You know what? I'm just going to have a good time. Go a good time. The first hole is a 377 yard par four, playing as the ninth hardest hole on the scorecard. Any club less than a driver to the harder the fairway is a perfect way to start this qualifier for the Myrtle Beach Classic. Now on the tee, playing out of Manchester in the United Kingdom, Peter Finch. Now on the tee, playing up. Four off the left, and it is all the way back there. Like a few men off from way back there, so it pins right about there. What was the 140? 141 flag. 141 is going to be like a little three quarter, three quarter wedge. Do you really want to be getting too frisky with that pin, dude? Nothing good behind it. All feeds off back there. Are we kind of like, if we leave it short right, Absolutely. it's all going to be uphill. Love it. Basically, at Jamie's ball there. Right? Exceptionally so. Exceptionally so. <laughs> Exceptionally so. Oh, yeah, you know, you, you. Oh, mate, yeah, crack on. Oh, that's your technique. All oh, right, okay. I think you're going to find me critiquing your pitch bar <laughs> there. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't ever play with someone like that. <laughs> I don't really think there's, there's much to it on the first half. As it gets to the hole, it's just going to smidge left. But. Mm. 
Let's get it out of the way. The par 5 second is the longest hole on the course. The water left should not trouble any of the players in the field, with a generous pin position at the front of the green that slopes back to front. This hole offers the first genuine scoring opportunity of the day, with a scoring average of 4.72 in the practice round. I just made that number up. So you've kind of got that shallow little run out off to the right there with bunkers up there to the left. 240 pin. Wind. 240 pin. A little bit help. Yeah, it's right down there. Right? Yep. That 225 front edge number probably isn't going to hurt you. Yeah, I think that's the number. I'm going to aim. I'm just going to aim just basically right. Yeah, just, just, just off the right edge. Play it off the edge of the pines up there. Yeah, if it yeah, draws, just, great. If not, fine. So draw and such. How close to the right edge is that? Five off. It's not like a stupid slope, is it, though? Really? It's pretty, yeah, pretty flat. Pretty standard. Yeah. Yeah, pretty shot. Beauty partner. Jeff. I love hybrids. Hybrids love me. We are being as happy as happy as can be. <laughs> Pushed it a bit on the club bit. And Brandon gave me a tough club, to be honest, but I don't need to talk about it. We'll let him off this one time. Terrible number. A long round. It's got a little bit more shed in it than what it looks like. Just feeding off this ridge, you stand about right there and you can see it all feeding that way. Come on, oh, dick, what dick. A line. Hit the f oh, you f The third hole, a 447-yard par four, that slowly sweeps to the right. Finding the fairway is certainly the main objective to any decent scores on the hole, as our players face a characteristic tee shot here at TPC Myrtle Beach. Tree-lined, tight, and unforgiving to any wayward shots. If I feather in a tiny cut with that, it should spin left, uh, right. Will well. spin right, yep. So hit a wedge, get it cut into where that, not the pine behind the tree, uh, the pin, the second one. Yep. Get it cutting on that, just try and get it pin high, let yeah. it spin. Perfect. Spin right at such. 28 on, we got about 8 yards behind it. Should feed it right a little bit. Yeah, I didn't quite catch it. I really took short. But... A little bit short of that flag was feeding down to it, so I don't think it's going to get you too much trouble. A little different look up here than what I expected on the heat map. I got you. Yeah, so we were noticing this yesterday with actually some of the um, some of the numbers for the June event. Like that, like that is not eight past. Right. No way. No, exactly. Just going off of what the math was. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it might be a pass to back there, which is probably what they're oh, going yeah, to. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I guess sticks out shape, yeah. Them, yeah. Easy, easy. Break it up, Tess.
pot. Good comeback. Just, wow, these greens are very fast. <laughs> I'll take some nerves out of it. We rejoin our early co-leader, Peter Finch, on the fourth hole, and once again, a tight tee shot that will test the players. This pin today sits at the very back of the green, on a precarious peak that will see balls long run off the back, and balls short leave lengthy putts. Absolutely. A rip of three, that's going to be like 280 carry. Okay. So that I believe was what, one? One fifty five. Around that. Yeah, should be right about that. It's either that or try and like cut down the driver. Rather go at something a little I bit. I like you going at it. Yeah, a little bit firm. Cut a little. Cut. Oh, that way. Okay. Okay, all right. No big deal, we'll get some free relief out of it. Take a wild stab and say that's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Potentially have more. <laughs> it's just no, that's great. Drain the ditch all the way down, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's going to be your nearest point. Yeah, nearest point. Here, and then you go, right from there. go from there. Okay. Yeah, you can come this way, I suppose. Very true, yeah, as long as it's no nearer. I suppose it's from the ball, isn't it, as well, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 it's not from the ball. It's, oh, it's from the nearest, nearest point. point yeah. I've got to drop it on that point, haven't I, so. Just there. This is good. Yep. Wonderful. Cheers, bud. We have 171 flag stick here. Pin is 36 back from the front. That puts us pretty much on the back edge. Everything feeding away. A little bit of help there. 62, 65. Yeah, basically a, just a 9 iron. Yeah. Um, center of green. Center of the green's great. That ball. Yep. I'm out a bit bottom of that one. Didn't quite get the uh, height. Have to have a yardage to the pin on this. All uphill, about three quarters of the way, just gradually starts to feed a little left. Yeah, Not much there. Bit, yeah. mm -hmm. It'll be good to get the pace right. On yeah, this one. absolutely. Not pro golfer, but I'm gonna, gonna throw that out there. Just on that window, just on the left side of it. Looking like it falls off the end of the earth afterwards. Big edge, Pete. Come on. Trust your read. Just way too tentative on both of us. Start left off the face, or just never quite got out. I just didn't quite, didn't quite get the strike. It was just kind of. It looked right to left, but then around the holes, actually, there's not really right. anything happening there, but I just need to get started on the live stream. Welcome to the fifth hole here at TPC Myrtle Beach, and the first par three on the course. Sitting as the shortest hole for the players today, club selection will be imperative if these players don't want to find themselves walking to the drop zone. Let's join the action down on the tee. we got five, five flags to here. We're uh, six on. So that puts our flag right about there. So everything's feeding back down towards the water and back into us. Wind should be back a little bit back in our face here. Yeah, swirling a touch around here, isn't it? It's kind just, of all back to that, but. Just from experience at this golf course, the downhill doesn't tend to do as much as you'd think. It's almost a little bit closer to the number. Okay, 155. Like a drawy, like a drawy nine iron yep. yesterday. The number for that is going to be a nine. I'm just wondering whether to just try and get a tiny bit beyond that. I don't think you're in any trouble a little bit past it. It's not super severe coming back into the hole. Hold. 
Okay. Might want to go chasing that one, I don't think it's it. No, not yet. Probably have it out as well. It's on me, it is on me, yeah, so. Well, the mouth. Great putt. Yes. Let's go, partner. I'm talking about baby. That last little look at over that ridge, I can see it right here. Yeah, that's right. Perfect speed. Yeah, it was that was good. A nice feeling actually. Absolutely. The sixth hole is the second power five in this early stretch of holes. Playing at 522 yards, it's certainly not the longest of holes, but its devilish green will require short game precision if you want any chance of walking off with a birdie. But the players must first avoid the bunker to the left of the fairway that sits at 285 yards. Nice drive. Thank you. I got a little nervous when I walked away and I wasn't on the box for you. I was like, I hope he knows where he's going. <laughs> I was hoping I was hoping to a little hybrid to be honest with you, mate. But you know what? Fine. I stumped up. No, that was drive. the right one to hit. All right, we have 242 flag stick. Uh, that puts us at 217 front edge. And I think a good landing number here, if you're going for the green, isn't much past 225. So what what they were talking about is this pin with where it is all the way back. If it gets back to here, dribble on. it's gone. If I go and your wind dead at us here. Yeah, I think so. What's the boss pin? Sorry, two. Uh, 242 flag. So I'm max out, about right max there. out 242. So 250 is my three hybrid. Okay. Into wind. Yep. Should be 230. So I should put it front middle. Yep. Perfect. I'm just going to go right, right through the neck of the green. Love it. it. Sit down. Get on the ground. Bounced. I saw it bounce. I didn't. I can't tell if it's pinched up left of that bunker. If there's a little drop off that we can't see, I think we're okay. All Behind right, that okay. ball. What do you think? So one club length, but the one club length isn't actually going to move me anyway. So we'll take two off the line here. You ready for me to pick it up? Uh, yes, cheers. Okay. Cheers. Pick up all my wood. Peter, still that same thing in mind. If it gets past that flag stick, it is yeah, going. down on the left. This should kind of keep it on this side of the flag stick here as it's coming up. I don't think I'm going to mind leaving myself like a, even if it's like a 10, 12 footer on that right. So if we go straight at it, it should break right. Correct. That was annoying. I don't know if that rough hop saved us or killed us. It killed us, absolutely killed us. It's left to right until it's not. Correct. Settle, settle, hit the hole, hit the hole. Mark it. Good Okay. What the f 
course that. <laughs> A staple of Tom Fazio design courses are his large undulating greens. And the par 3 7th is a perfect example of his craftsmanship at work. The green is also significantly more exposed to the elements than most greens on the course. Get off it, get off it. Wow. Strong. Once it turned that corner, that wind yeah, started pushing it. Going straight. Yeah. Saddle. Yeah, good run. See about it. Good pipe. That's far. Cheers. Wow. It's way too stressful, this. Not play gimmies on the PJ Tour. Smart decisions are needed when selecting the club for this tee shot. With a bunker before the green at 3.03, waiting to collect even accurate tee shots, laying up to the heart of the fairway may be more of the calculated play. So you certainly don't need it if you don't want it. But as I said, you start getting into this downslope here, unless you've got 2.99, 3.03 in you, okay. uh, that's going to get you to the flat there. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Okay, fine. Oh, is that a fade, you silly? <laughs> One, three, seven. Uh, okay. Into. Obviously, you don't want to be going big. No, but still plenty of hurt up there. Yep. Um, the touch of a flyer there as well. Is it like a, a wedge and trust that it's going to fly a touch? Yep. Or just a tiny nine, but like don't said, ideally want to be flying past this pin. Not it, a so. ton of spin coming out of here, so should kind of take off a little bit more of that kind of knuckleball-y. Middle pine just behind the pin on the left. Yep, I love that. All above the feet, shouldn't move it a touch left. Basically, want to finish it on camera, man. Love it. So left. Soft bounce. <laughs> just grab and turn. Yeah, I just went left straight away. Heel dug in and all right, plenty of green to work with. It's gonna be easy to try and run it up that slope rather than carry it there. So Yeah, absolutely. Obviously the more you run it up, the more play you're gonna get feeding to the right there. So down. You're gonna bump it about halfway up there. Yeah, I think I might just kind of toe down a little fifty four. Yep. About halfway up the slope. Feed left. There right, so. Come on, feed now, feed, feed. Yeah, just, it just came out left. Landed pretty much, I've landed it yeah. pretty much at the right good length, but. Good weight. Yeah. Yes, sir, good up and down. Cheers. Mm, it took off a little bit quicker than I would. <laughs> The par 4 ninth is the longest par 4 on the course. At 291 yards, water starts to creep into the fairway, and the player's view of this is obscured from the tee box. The hole also slowly edges round to the right, and your approach is his shot into an elevated green. Beauty. Thank you. 206 flagstick. Straight into draft pretty much. 
And as I said, we're 19 on five off the right edge. Everything on the edge of the green, it looks like is pinching in towards the left. So you can pretty much be as aggressive at it as you want without the risk of it running right. Slightly uphill. Slightly uphill. Five, seven uphill. I saw this kind of into off the left, isn't it? So maybe start this on the left edge. You know, run a little fade in there. I yep. think so. Love it. Kind of want to, don't really want to go and seek and now plenty of room towards the middle of that green too yeah. you don't have to be anywhere over close to it if you don't want to a little fade over there will help keep cutting Nice shot. Cheers. Golf shot there, partner. Thank you. That was okay. That was so professional, wasn't it? It's so professional. Makes you sick. Oh, it's, it's going to start to tear off a little bit here. Basically, see all these two pitch marks here. Yep. Basically through. Yep. Split the wickets, baby. Oh, good Come line on. again. Come on. Hit the fucking ball. Wafted at it. To begin the back nine, we have a 387 yard par four. Laying up short of the water is a necessity for this hole, with a green that slopes left to right towards the water that surrounds it from three sides. Get lucky, and you have. Okay. All right, one, six, four, flag stick. Six off the right, we're 23 on, probably on that edge that it's on. Six, four, no less than five, two cover. One, five, two cover. On that line. On that line. Well, I'm thinking out of this line, probably just a solid wedge. Really. Yeah, absolutely. Just something towards that left side there. Yeah, that, like the big thick trunk. Yep. Middle of the ground. Perfect. Dylan. It definitely landed left of the stake there, but I just don't know. I don't know what it, what it does when it gets down there. Be honest, I thought that was going to be all right. Did it feel dead coming out? Yeah, it felt, it felt like it had enough juice. Isn't it his ball in the middle of the green there? Uh, that yeah. was the line we were on. Was yeah, do we want to have a full did, special did, present? Did, did anyone, do you see a pitch? I'm sorry? Did anyone else see it pitch? That's all I'm... Pitch there. Right, okay. Okay. That's slightly up the slope. It should, it should hold fairly straight going up at it. You think? Just favor that left a touch. Not much, though. Okay. That's a bit left to right. I'll trust yourself, Pete. Good pot, buddy. Good. Oh, slap my thigh and call me Betsy. Oh, baby. One of the more straightaway tee shots on the course, the 11th hole offers a wide open fairway with pins nestled in a bowl at the front right of the green. A solid tee shot can be rewarded with an easy shot into this green which once again stands as a staple for the Fazio designed golf course. Yeah, Peter. Yes, man. 
91 yards flag stick. 91. 91. All right, we are 11 on, eight right. Um, pin, so that's some room behind, I'm guessing. Yeah, plenty of room behind. It's all feeding back to it. You're kind of in the bowl there a little bit. 11 on is right in the bowl. Oh, sit, sit, sit. Come back down. Come on. 91, not 328. You just jump out on me a little bit? No, I just, I needed a number. I just gave it a touch more. Just, it also flew. I don't really see it doing too much until the end. Now, do you feel it fairly flat yeah. almost through here? I think speed kind of takes care of whatever might be shoving this way off the, just off the putter face. Like you said, I think second half, it does start to bend left there. Yeah, it gets down towards that hole. that much. <sighs> Good putt. Certainly a birdie opportunity out here today, but it still provides a testing tee shot with some well-placed pines down the right-hand side, making the tee shot a lot tighter. Back there, I was looking at 12. This one is back left. That is one plus right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I thought it would be. So it's got to be right edge. Yep. Give yourself an angle. Fade off those bunkers. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, loads of room right as well. This one. up at the green it wants to hang out there right, okay. so something a little bit closer to the middle running back to it will feed that way <sighs> just again like trying to be aggressive to that pin it's just thank you absolutely terrifying Firmer, firmer, firmer. Bad words, bad words, you're a bad word. Where's the ball? Yeah. Hard to be aggressive. If I put something in myself a bit, I'd be in a bit uphill. I think for the first time ever, it's not helping me. Because I feel like I've got to hit it a bit harder. I just don't want to hit it harder on these pins. These pins like, do not deserve it. A 205 yard par 3, the 13th hole is another example of the precise clubbing required on all the par 3s here at TPC Myrtle Beach. Measuring at 185 yards to the front of the green and 228 yards to the very back, the green also offers a lot of undulations and a large ridge that splits the green. However, land it in the right spot and you have a chance. 195, 194 cover on the front edge. Let's see, 13, we are dead center. 25 on, six off the left. Where that pin is, you see the two, the split tree there? Yeah. There's a ridge that bisects the green right about there. Anything that's left of that will feed down towards that pin. So don't feel like you have to be right on top of it to get it over there. I see there's like a super solid five or a little fiddly four. Yeah, so looking at it from this angle here about, and that pin's going to be, let's see, that pin's going to be about right there. Right there. Shot of the day, Peter. Come on. Shot. Yeah. Flew right past it. Overclubbed me. Overclubbed you. About time. 
so I was really first decent I shot a bit it was like just a bit of a weird thing to say you know, driving in with Pottins kept me kept me in it so far and the great company and the beautiful weather of course Take it off. Yeah. The 14th is a dogleg par 5. It's certainly shot in stature for most par 5s on the PGA Tour, but it does offer plenty of defense. The trees down the right will capture any push tee shot, and hazards down the left claim any overdrawn golf ball. Right one bushy tree, one more bushy tree, 306 on that one. Good piece. Jeff. Got it. Thank you. <sighs> Let's see here. Right about 290, 292 front edge. About 210 center. 210 center. 210 center. What was the last hole? It's going to switch back and forth. You probably, by the time we get up over it, we'll probably have a little bit more help than what we feel right now. Pop a solid five now? Yeah. It's either that or we've got to try and take a lot for four. Nothing great behind it. So, yeah. I mean, middle of the green is definitely going to be your friend here. I going aggressive. Just a solid, just a solid five. Yeah. Cool. Just hold. Just hold. Sure. Okay, dancing. Yeah. Woo! Good swing. Just. Thank you. <laughs> Ever so uphill, I can't see it from here. No, I don't trust that thing. No, all feeding off that back edge though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. steady all the way. God, that's a big bald eagle. Easy, easy, easy. Bang. As our televised player steps off the 14th green with a wonderful eagle, we'd like to thank you for choosing our coverage today. And we hope you enjoy these final few holes, starting with this wonderful 15th hole par 4, 455 yards. What you don't want is right off the tee, as your approach will be blocked what in the trees. 15. I'll do. How close to the clubhouse? <laughs> par 4, yeah. Par 4. Okay. Drawing off that tree is not a bad line. Uh, wood chip one, yeah. Anything. No trouble between us and the hole. The left of this hole is that a red staked hazard? That's though? correct. All the way down. Just gonna have to see what it does off that pine cone. Uh, what was this hoping? 180. 180 total. 152 or sorry, 162 front. Nothing between us and the hole. Run like you stole something. All right, good play. Not bad. Not much more you can ask for off that. There was two um, like acorns right from yeah. the ball resting on it, so no idea what I was going to do. Tough lie. Not much you can do off that one. Played it well, though. You like 46? Love 46. A couple more than that. Got it on the upslope there, isn't it? It's pretty much dead. Yeah, there. absolutely. As you, as you take your second hop coming up that hill, it's going to just check. Great save. Yeah. Ooh. 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 I don't want to move either. Go on. Three just birdies. Left edge firm right up the hill. Yeah, just uh, just didn't want to um, didn't want to drop.
Coming down the home stretch, the 16th hole is a 390 yard par four. The course describes this tee shot as easy. However, if you successfully navigate the fairway, this elevated green is protected by false fronts and greenside bunkers. Was it to cover that right bunker? One more time. Uh, that right bunker. Cover. Yep, 277 run out. 277 run out. Correct. Yeah, beauty. Yes. Sorry. I'm not, I'm not in shot tracer mode today, lads. I apologise. You know what? You know what? It's your fault. You should have stood here. How far we go? Look for him behind, or is it in that? Yeah, it's, it says, it, says, it says the pin's about here. It does it now. So as you go left, it feeds off. Yeah, I'm imagining probably just beyond that. That's that. That's going. There, that's right. going. Yep. Yeah. A little bit long, a little bit right. Yep. 102. Yep. Right there. Shot. Yes. Well, that's I'm literally. I was setting up to that, and I was like, "That is such a great visual." There, just pull it off that. Oh my god. It's just amazing how it goes that way. It just feels like that's uphill. <laughs> Welcome to the signature hole. The 17th is a stunning par three, sitting at 193 yards. And what a penultimate hole to the course this is. The green sits on a peninsula, undulating, tiered, and tricky and the chance of high scores is a large possibility. This is certainly one of the most beautiful and challenging holes in all South Carolina. 94 flag, straight down. Let's see what we got here. Gusting up here, wow. 20 on, seven off the right. All right, 20 on puts us right about right there. So on that line, gonna need at least, at least 76 carry. Kind of feels like it's full eight, but a 170 is eight iron. Yep. Straight down draft. Straight down, yep. The solid one. Just leaving it more towards the middle. It will feed over there a touch. We're right at it. Softly. Not sure. Off the back edge. That flew hard. Just hung up there. Do I, I mark the owner? So just be careful when you mark that. You don't, don't clean it. I just got to keep it's it in the same, yep. yeah. I come in from that side there. Is that yeah. going to be okay there? Yeah, that's good. All right, same light you just had there. Okay, balls of play. Fun Stab one. a little 60 out of there. I think so, yeah. Pretty good scrape there, Peter. See you, bye. Toe down. Thank you, Mr. Pete Cowan, legend. Here we go. Good three partner. Yes. Oh man, well, as Golf Digest suggested at the outset of this event, if you haven't already, it'd be great if you liked and subscribed to the channel. That would just be wonderful. And I also want to say a massive thank you to Myrtle Beach for kind of having us out here. It's just been an amazing experience so far. Obviously got one hole to go. I want to finish on the par as well as par five. Let's see if we can close it out, but it's been a it's been a great day. I think some big positives to take with my putting and my driving as well. So I think all in all, can't be too disappointed. A fantastic par five. The 18th hole is a superb finishing hole here for the queue at Myrtle Beach. If you find the ferry with your drive, you'll be tempted into going for the green in two, especially for those players who are chasing the top off the leaderboard. But a small slither of water runs down the right-hand side of this fairway. Yeah, well, close some birdies, eh? Oh, yeah, some of the bears are really, really, really fruity.
Kiri. I'm just trying to think if we hit a three, hit a three hybrid, that's normally like a two kind of 50 number. Is that going to be enough? This feels two, three, five is what you're going to probably get out of it with this. If it picks up any more, you're back to 230. If I kind of start it at those bunkers and draw it, should just about have enough beans. Because if, if I hit a three wood, then that's, uh, I'm going to have to like slice it into that. I don't want to, I don't want to start it over the water really. It's strongish breeze, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I'm going to start it at basically the bunkers and then if it draws, fine. Yep. If not, then fine. <sighs> That's the biggest bet. Like this. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, so have a quick zap of that. Yeah, and it all goes left. All goes left. I guess it's going to be rough there, or I actually can't believe that kicked on so much then. Did it fringe it? Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I had a great shot, so played it right, so had a bit of a chance as well. Good to meet you. Hey, how long is that, man? Oh, I'm not Parts. Hey. Right, I had a right great, 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 great to meet right. you, man. You too. Well played, everyone. Long goal. Yeah. Hungry. Yeah.